this car here is uh, it's got the original um, Mardave mini stock body on it so this is a 112 um, indoor sort of carpet racing car uh, it runs on foam tires and there isn't any suspension so it's really got to be run on a on a flat surface um, but what I've done here um, because I'm interested in trying to encourage other schools to take up this project because the, the learning outcomes are they're so there's so many different aspects of uh, design and um, machining applications and uh, manufacturing processes but what I've done here these are the current I don't know if these are current these are a few years old but they're possibly still available but it's just the um, the window stickers for the for the mini um, so what I've done here I, I actually scanned those in and then I've drew those out as a DXF file so they can be vinyl cut and when I cut these out I've actually cut around these so the the black solid sort of tinted part of the window can be removed and it just gives a black uh, window surround so what you can do is um, you can just use those uh, either to have like a really dark smoked window or alternatively you can peel out the center section and then use that as a reference for when you're cutting the windows out so you get them nice and neat um, I think the windscreen's a little bit big on this uh, so I did cut it to the same size as, as I think they were well they're, they're Mardave ones but they're not the original stickers but um, yeah it's, so it's, it's quite good it's a quick way of getting a car up and running without the the additional sort of um, difficulties of trying to cut the windows out from the ABS it's not a challenge but um, if you're doing that with a sort of small group um, it's easier just to get the stickers on it and get a car up and running and obviously with the windows in that's a little bit more rigid as well but they are quite sturdy so it's no problems cutting those windows out I just wanted to show I mean this is so straightforward it's just a piece of um, quarter inch um, I used um, silver steel for the rear, rear axle you could use, just use mild steel or um, stainless steel even um, the seat or bumper's just been cut out on a router what I'm going to experiment with I've got some recycled um, high density polyethylene and I was going to screw through with those holes the mounting holes and then just uh, use a pattern a bearing guided router bit just to route those out so it's a quick way of reproducing the parts and I think you could do the same for the uh, the motor sort of supports for the rear axle as well the wheels I've got the drawings for 3d printed those so I'm going to try and 3d print some this week um, battery tray just vacuum forming that can be really really straightforward this one I, I used a CNC router to to profile to make the mold for that the upstands for the electronics just a little piece of quarter inch um, aluminium or six millimeter for aluminium these again they're cut on a router or you could use quarter inch uh, acetyl square stock and they don't have to have radius ends and then you could just cut those or drill them on a lathe in a four jaw chuck um, body mounts again that's just a, a piece of um, quarter inch um, either a seat or deal in plastic this one I bought in the the front beam um, but um, you can see it's it's just a straightforward piece um, obviously it doesn't need to be even be as complex as that you might just have a, an upper part and a lower part they could even be carbon fiber or glass fiber and then some aluminium standoffs in between the, uh, the, the mountings there for the hold the front beam on them and that would just support the, uh, the little um, kingpins there so you could just have um, just a little circlip on each end so that would be really straightforward and then again front bumper same as the rear one and on this one I've got some acetyl um, rod and then I've just tapped um, three millimeter threads in there and I've just put the little um, hex head button head screws on there so I mean that's all the parts it's really straightforward and the chassis is just glass fiber but um that could just be marked out by hand and just cut out of aluminium sheet so it's so it doesn't weigh anything it's amazing it's just there's not really any bits there. there's no obviously no electronics in it and you can source the electronics or even um, use those from a from an old radio controlled car from eBay or something like that so there's the there's a body and what I'll do is I'll upload these the DXF into the files on here so if anyone wants to get one of these uh, cars up and running the body shell I mean that's that's the real challenge uh, you can just uh, use um, blocks of um, timber MDF um, softwood and then you can just use hand tools to, to make the buck for the, for the vacuum forming and then you can just use a uh, styrene for the body shell this one's ABS but um, styrene will be fine 
So yeah, just uh, sharing some of the files. Um, what I want to do is check with um, Chris at Mardave if it's all right for me to upload the files to share, because obviously um, people will be able to re reproduce that. But I think if it's a closed in DT group, then I don't think that should be a problem. But there you go. So that's a little Mardave mini stock. Super cute, super cheap, quite easy, but as, as complex as you want to make it in terms of how you develop the project. I think the body shows about six pounds and then you got delivery, so they're really cheap. Good. Five minute video, and that covers all the bits and pieces you need to make the little car. The one thing I hasn't shown on this one is the, the rear body mounting on the, the other car I built. I just used a piece of um, aluminium at angle and then drilled a three a three mil hole and bolted on a little um brass um motherboard um mounting spacer and then put a little cross drilled a hole for it for, for the little body clips but on this well i've got developments of these um the later one uses the same sort of servo mountings and they just bolt through but i didn't want to have loads of holes in here like a sort of prototype so i'm just sticking to that as it is and then I'm developing this into another chassis that's got the uh, the variable mountings for the, for the uh, body posts.